Hello, I'm Therese Barber and welcome to Credit Matters TV. Joining me today is Peter Sikora from our Financial Institutions Group. We will be talking about the Capital, Leverage and Earnings section of the latest request for comment for the non-bank financial institutions criteria. Welcome Peter. Thanks Therese. The third company specific factor is the Capital, Leverage and Earnings. Can you briefly tell me what we're looking at and what we're trying to assess with this factor? Put simply, capital leverage and earnings looks to assess a firm's ability to absorb its losses and provide protection to senior creditors. It also looks to incorporate operating earnings and the extent to which those can add to providing protection against those losses. The criteria describes an option to look at either a risk adjusted capital ratio or a leverage ratio. So can you tell me how is this decided? We do have the ability to choose between a risk adjusted capital ratio and a leverage ratio. And the way we look to determine which choice we make is to look at the extent to which capital sufficiency best represents the issuer's circumstances. Can you give us an example? An example of an instance where we might use a leverage ratio is where a firm underwrites assets that are significantly different to a bank. For example, a subprime auto lender where the loss rates on those assets are significantly different to that of a bank. So what are the capital and leverage ratios that we focus on in our analysis? The capital ratio we use is the risk adjusted capital ratio that we use in our bank framework. The reason we use this is because there was insufficient data to calibrate a framework for non-banks. The leverage ratio we use is debt to adjusted total equity. Are specific benchmarks set for these ratios? Yes, there are specific benchmarks for each assessment level and the ratios are the specific factors which determine the assessment unless it falls in a marginal range which is 50 basis points for the risk adjusted capital ratio and 0.5 times for leverage. Where the ratios are in the marginal range, we look at two additional qualitative factors, earnings and quality of capital and financial flexibility. The assessment on these qualitative factors needs to be high for us to choose the higher option. And how are earnings captured in the assessment of this factor? Both risk adjusted capital and leverage looks to incorporate our forward expectations over a two year horizon with a primary focus on the current year. They both look to incorporate anticipated earnings and any capital management initiatives. Thank you, Peter. That's all we have time for today. Our other Credit Matters TVs are available on our website on spratings.com.